I'm currently on my demo site and if we scroll to the bottom, you can see I have a subscribe to our newsletter section. Now I also want this newsletter section to be on another page. Uh, let's put it on the blog page um, and at the top here between the title and the first blog post. One way of doing this is to take the source code for that newsletter, which you'll see here. Uh, I'll copy it and then I'll just paste it into blog.html. Now that section is on the blog page. The problem with this is I've just duplicated source code on my website. And if I ever want to change content inside this newsletter section, say I want to change this title here, then I'm going to have to change that in multiple places. A better solution is to use Jekyll Includes, which I'll show you now. To begin, we'll create a new folder called underscore includes. And inside this, create a new file called newsletter.html. Now we'll copy the source code for the newsletter section across to newsletter.html. Back to index.html, and I can replace all this content with my include. So I'll start with my liquid tags, and then it's just include, and then the name of the file, which is newsletter.html. I'll also copy this across to my blog page. Refreshing my blog page, the content's exactly the same except now there's a single origin for that content. So if I make a change to that include, it's changed on the blog page and the home page. In more complex situations, you can also pass parameters to an include. So let's say on this website, I'm gonna have YouTube videos and I always want them to be presented in a consistent way. Um, so I want them to be centered and a particular size. Here I've created a new include called youtube.html. At the top, I have a div for some formatting. In the YouTube embed itself, I specify a width and height. And for the source, you can see I have this variable here. So it's include.youtube underscore ID. So let's use this include on the index page. So below my newsletter, let's create a new include for youtube.html. And then I can pass parameters in here. So youtube underscore ID is equal to the ID of a baking video I found on YouTube. Refreshing my page, you can see the videos appeared. It's centered, it's the width and height I want. And I can keep this consistency for YouTube videos throughout my website. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.